Please go to elithecomputerguy.com in order to view schematics, code, and more for the projects that you are learning about. Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the I2C or the I squared C communication protocol in regards to Arduino. So this, this is an amazing little protocol that allows you to communicate with multiple different electronic devices using simply two wires coming off of your Arduino board. But the only issue with the I2C protocol is that it's an addressable protocol, which means every single device, I2C device, you're going to connect to your Arduino is going to need an I2C address. Many times those addresses are hardwired into the device that you've purchased and one of the problems you can run into is that you simply literally don't know what the hell the address is. It's kind of like uh, putting a DHCP client on your network and then not knowing what uh, IP address it was able to pick up. A big problem that you can run into with I2C is you connect the I2C device, but then when you go to try to communicate with it, you don't know what address that that device has, and so therefore you're not able to connect with it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a sketch that allows you to scan for I2C devices that are connected to your Arduino, and it will output the hex address uh, for those devices so that you can plug that into whatever sketch that you're going to create with your I2C uh, devices. So with that, let's go over the workbench so I can show you how this particular project was put together. Then I will show you the sketch and bring it all together and show you how it works. So I've put this little project together to show that you can scan for multiple I2C addresses at the same time. So this is a 20 by 4 uh, I2C LCD screen and this is a little I2C OLED screen. And I've connected both of these to the Arduino essentially to the breadboard. Now again, it is important to understand when you're dealing with I2C that more or less you're just using two communication wires in order to communicate with the Arduino. So I have these two communication water, wires so A4 and A5, those are then coming to the breadboard, and then on the breadboard, I am simply splitting them out uh, in order to connect to the 20 by 4 uh, LCD screen and the LED. So basically, both of these screens are sharing both the VCC and the ground, and they're sharing A4 and A5. And this is what makes I2C so nice, is you can see I have these two devices connected to the Arduino, and for all of that, I am simply using two analog ports. So I've done it this way. Do realize if you simply need the address for one device, you could simply connect that one one device directly to the Arduino and then run the, the sketch that I'm about to show you and it will show you the address for that single device. But I do want to show you that both devices can be connected at the same time and you can scan for multiple addresses at the same time. So here's a sketch for the I2C scanner. It's uh, relatively simple. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to include the wire library, the wire.h library. And this is included with your Arduino IDE by default. So you don't need to download or install that. You just simply include that there. The next thing we need to do is we need to void set up the environment that this is going to run in. And the first thing that we need to do is wire.begin. It basically begins the wire service. So we need to do that. And then we will be using the serial monitor to view the output. So we need to do serial.begin 9600. And with that, we've set up our environment. From there, we're just going to go down, we're going to go to the loop, and we're going to try to figure out uh, what addresses we have connected to this particular Arduino. So we're going to need to create two variable or three variables to begin with. We're going to have an int for error. So if there is an error from any of these I2C devices, we need to be able to see what that is. We're going to create an int for address. So for the address, we can have up to 127. And basically what's going to happen with this particular sketch is it's simply going to iterate through all the possible addresses and see if anything is connected to any of those addresses. So it's basically going to loop through. It's a four loop. So it's gonna start at one. It's going to increment up to 127. And basically all it's going to do is see if anything is connected to those addresses. So we need an int variable for the address. And then we need an int variable for devices. 
is, and we are going to simply set that to zero. And so basically what that's gonna be used for is if no devices are found, we need something to print out to literally say no devices have been found. So we're gonna create those variables and we'll set devices to zero. The next thing that we're gonna do is serial.print. So this will be printing out to the serial monitor, serial.print line and devices found uh, colon. So basically it's just gonna print out devices found and then underneath that, if devices are found, it will tell us what the address of those devices are. Then we're gonna come down here and we are going to do a for a loop. For address equals one. So we're going to start the address at one. Address is less than 127 because you can go up to a total of 127 with I2C, address plus plus, add one to the address. So it's gonna look at address number one. And then it's going to loop and then it's going to do this loop and then it's going to go to two and going to do the loop and go to three and four and five and six and seven all the way up to uh, 126 uh, and then it will drop out of the loop uh, then what we're going to do is wire dot begin transmission at the address given so begin transmission at one right so at one and then two three four five six so on and so forth then we're going to have this error so error equals wire dot end transmission so basically when when the Arduino communicates with the I2C device, it's going to respond back with a code. And so we are simply calling that code error. So if error equals zero, so basically if the code back from wire.intransmission equals zero, zero, then we are going to print out the address for the I2C device. So zero means there's something there. So the first thing we're gonna do is serial.print. We're gonna print zero X. Then if address is less than 16, so if this address here, while it's under 16, it's going to do 0x and then serial.print another zero. So if it's under 16, the reason is, is when you turn uh, numbers under 16, so zero through 15 into hex, those are single characters you're going to be receiving back. And so you want a double character for this. And so you're going to be adding that extra zero to give you a double character. So zero X zero F or something like that. Uh, you'll notice there's no semicolon here. So with the if, so if this, then this just continuously happens. Otherwise it just breaks out and keeps going down. Then what we're going to do is serial dot print line. So this will print. So zero X, whatever. And then it'll print this out and go to the next line. And what we're going to do here is the address. So the number for the address, but doing this, it formats it in hex. It's gonna format in a hex. So we're gonna get the hex number for whatever address it is. So if it's 22, we're going to turn 22 into a hexadecimal uh, number to be able to print out. And so it'll be zero X and then whatever the hexadecimal number is, then we're going to do devices plus plus. So we're going to add one to devices plus plus. Uh, else if, if error code comes back to equal to four, what it's going to do is say is unknown error at the address zero X. Again, if the address is under 16, it'll print another zero and then serial print line address in the hex format. So zero X two F or something like that. That is what will get printed out there. Once it goes all the way down, if devices equals zero, so remember we have this device plus plus, so every time this loops through, it adds the number of devices. So if it's zero, so we set it to zero here, if it doesn't find any addresses while it's going through this for loop, then it will serial, simply uh, serial.print line, no I2 devices found. Then what it's gonna do is it's going to delay for 5,000 milliseconds, five seconds, and then it will loop through again. Uh, now this is dynamic. Uh, if, you, if you switch around the, the wires uh, while this is looping, uh, you, you, can, you can see the changes. So you can have uh, devices drop off or devices come back on. If, if you screw up and the SDA wire or the SCL wire is in the wrong position, you can swap those around. Um, and so it'll just keep looping, 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 looping. So let me upload the code for this and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so I've uploaded the sketch to the Arduino. Uh, we can see the 20 by four screen is on. There's no real indication whether or not this screen is plugged in. So we'll just simply have to go to the serial monitor to see if we are getting any addresses. If we go to tools, we go to serial monitor, we should start getting something. So we got devices found. And so we have one device at 0x27 and another device at 0x3c. So we know these are the addresses 
uses of these two particular devices. Now, the one thing that I will say is you're not sure which one is which. Is this 27 or is this 3C? You don't know. So that's one reason if you don't know the address of a particular uh, I2C device, you may want to plug these in individually. Um, but this just kind of shows you that both devices can be plugged in and communicated with uh, at the same time. Again, just using these two little wires here. So that's really all there is to this particular project and sketch. And it will make your life a hell of a lot easier being able to find uh, those addresses simply by running a little sketch like this. So there you go. That's how you scan for I2C or I squared C addresses. Again, these are these are great little devices to be able to connect to your Arduino. It's a great way to be able to connect a lot of different devices using only two wires. The problem being though, the problem being is you may not know what exact address your device is. And if you don't have some way to scan for it, they, that may become a real problem. Again, with these I2C devices, some documentation for these devices is great and some documentation for this device is horrible so if you're sitting there and you know you bought something for uh, for half price because you thought it was gonna be such a great deal and then you find out oh I have no idea what the hell the address for this thing is uh, using this little I2C scanner uh, can be a real lifesaver so as always I enjoy doing this video and look forward to seeing you at the next one